the lord hallelujah hallelujah glory be to god in the highest we give god all the glory for today it's a wonderful week indeed yes we thank god good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you're watching from the lord bless you and cause his face to shine upon you in jesus name amen this is every word of god for daily living pray. Our precious Father, King of glory, Lord of Lord, hallowed be your glorious name, Lord. We worship you. Be thou exalted and magnified. Thank you, Father, for this the day that you have made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Every day it's a privilege, O oh God, to live in your holiness and your righteousness, O oh God. It's a privilege, O oh God, that we are alive. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Many have died, O oh God. Oh, many are perishing, O oh Lord Jesus. But you, O oh God, have favored us, O oh God, and you have brought us in your way of your holiness and your righteousness. O oh Lord, we say thank you, Father, for it is a privilege that we are calling on the name of Jesus. Oh, many don't even know you, oh Lord, but you have revealed yourself to us and we know you, oh Lord, and we say thank you. We worship and we know who we worship. Lord, we bless you, we give you glory. Honor, adoration be to your name, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. Oh, I give you glory, Lord, as I honor you. I give you glory, God, as I honor you, are wonderful, you are worthy, oh God, you are wonderful, you are worthy, oh Lord, I give you glory. God, as I honor you, Jesus, I give you glory, God, as I honor you, oh, wonderful, you are worthy, oh, God, you are wonderful, you are worthy. glory we give you honor i give you all the glory i give you honor praise god hallelujah praise god amen praise god hallelujah Praise God, amen. Praise to the name of the Lord God Most High, who was and is and still to come. Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shalom, our Prince of Peace, King of Glory, Lord of Lords, soon coming King Jehovah. Lord, we worship you, Lord. Be thou exalted. Thank you, Father, for your goodness, your kindness, and your faithfulness. Without you, we are nothing, Lord Jesus. With you, we are everything. Blessed be your glorious day. Honor to your adoration, adoration to your name, Lord. Lord, I worship you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, we are here to receive your word. We are here to hear another word today. Oh, speak to us, oh God. Speak to heal us, to deliver us, to set free, oh God. Oh, Lord, speak, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Helping on myself to you, Lord. Use me, oh God, for your glory. I decrease, Father, increase through your word to heal, to deliver, to set free and bring people to your righteousness, to bring people to your holiness. Open the minds of people, oh God, and cause them to understand your will. Let the will... Let the knowledge of your will be revealed to people, oh God, today. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you for being here as you have come. The Lord will fill you today with the knowledge of his will in Jesus' name. Amen. Our topic today is... Wisdom required for raising up godly children for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. This is by Pastor Parika, the International Director of the Holiness River Movement Worldwide, short from Horemo. Today is Monday, January 17, 2022. And our text is taken from the book of Proverbs, chapter 9, verse 9 to 10. Verse 9, give instruction to a wise man and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man and he will increase in learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Key verse is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 12 verse 36. 
But I say unto you, that every idle word that man shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Let's be careful of our speech, for we are seeing here that we will give account of every idle words in the day of judgment. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. I take our reading. Christian parents need to know the right thing to do at every point in time in child training. 1. Not all corrections should involve the use of Cain. The child you want to punish should be made to know his or her offense so that the purpose will not be defeated. A wise child may require only words of instruction and reproof to perfect his ways. When you have a wise child who perfects his ways by a word of instruction, why must you embarrass him with beating and cause, hmm, and cause him physically damage? Do not make beating the only way of correction. Employ verbal counsel and rebuke. Sometimes you can arrange a meeting between your child and someone and someone else. Let the person talk to your child about about these things on that issue. That is wisdom. Amen. Amen. May God give us wisdom to train up our children in Jesus' name. And we are being counseled here that it's not every time you beat your child or you use cane. No, you should show your children love, not by beating or by yelling or by or, or by uh, beating uh, beating them with cane that we actually do it. But as you counsel them, God will give you the grace to know what to do. You counsel them even with the scriptures. God will help you before you know you will, they, they will begin to grow as you train them in the way they should grow. As they grow old, they will not depart from it. In Jesus' name, amen. Our point two here says, love all your children. Do not create room for any of your children to feel he or she is not being loved as the others. It will cause insecurity and hatred. If you, if, if for any reasons you are given sometimes you are giving something higher than, than the other one. Explain your reason why you are doing so. Yes, it's very, very important. You have to explain the children. Don't say they are too small. They don't understand. No, they understand everything. Don't let them go and, and pile up stuff in their heart or in their mind thinking that you love one more than them. So please, as you give one other, maybe a gift or you buy or maybe it's your it's, it's the first child's birthday and you buy a very expensive toy and then you didn't buy it for her. Explain for the other. Oh, it's because of her birthday and she's old enough to use this. That's why I've given this. Oh, it's not because we don't love you. So we explain so that they will understand. God give us the wisdom in Jesus' name. Amen. Our point three says, sacrifice for the child. If there is a, if there is no money, tell them so. They will understand. Avoid harsh scary statements on your child don't scare them don't be harsh to them avoid them and go we give them grace in jesus name amen do not use evil words on your children do not use evil word on your child proverbs chapter 18 verse 21 death and life are in the power of the tongue that child you are cursing will be the wonderful child of tomorrow will be the wonderful of tomorrow so please don't use your mouth to to spoil your children even if they hurt you even if they wrong you yes that is why we as children of god we have the fruit the uh, fruit of the spirit to forbear oh teach them how to forbear by you forbearing that heart by you forgiving them that heart that they have caused you forbear so that they will see good characters in you don't open your mouth to curse them rather pray bless and do not curse them bless them every idle word you speak shall be judged so rather than cursing them bless them proclaim what you want on your children you see that the child is very is being very stubborn proclaim my child you are not stubborn it is well with you amen amen and it shall be well with our children in jesus name amen hallelujah points i think point four now learn to talk and play with your children you will make the best out of them it will make them share their their burdens with you don't let them be afraid don't let them fear satan and fear you too they are afraid of satan now they come and sit under satan fearing you oh 
No, don't be a tyrant to your, ch- your, your children. Don't be a, a Satan to them. Don't be a terror to them. Let them be able to interact with you. Tell them they will tell you their burdens. Come to you and speak to you no matter how small or great they are. Don't make them tyrant. May the Lord give us grace to love our children and relate to them as we should in Jesus' name. Amen. Our other point here says encourage them. Encourage them to pray everywhere. Encourage them in the Lord. Oh, speak about Jesus to them. Preach to them. Read your Bible to them. Love them. Encourage them in the Lord. Join pray. Uh, Jonah prayed inside the fish belly and God answered him. By prayer, Hannah changed her barrenness to fruitfulness. Teach your children about God. Help, let them know that there's faith in God. When you have faith in God, God can do all things. God can make the impossible possible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your little your children from three to oh uh, five years teach them from now when you train them when they are younger when they grow they will not depart from it it is very easy for you to bend them now when they are grown up it is already too it's already difficult or, uh, uh, or less by a divine hand or less by the message of god before you will see children like that changing but as they are young and tender do your best and god will do the rest amen hallelujah do your best and god will do the rest amen our other point is give them assignments on the word of God read for them. Give them memory verses. Explain the scripture to them. Tell them, oh, we are learning about love. By the grace of God here in the U.S., uh, the children, we are learning about love. As they learn about love, ask them, what's your testimony? Oh, what are, what are the testimonies you are piling together? Oh, you're going to share that at, at the end of the week. Oh, okay, what, how are you practicing love? How are you sharing it with your, with your brothers, with your sisters? Oh, how did you share love today? You went to school, what did you do? Relate with them. Oh, you, you gave them an assignment. Have you read it scripture come and explain the scripture to me this is different this is how your children can grow it's not just to give them tab and for them to be with the tab and whatsoever whatsoever they want to watch you don't know what they say you don't control them you don't even teach them that there are evil things in the internet that they should not click or that they should click I see some children they say oh no 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 we can't click this this is not of God oh no I can't watch this because their parents have taught them so please we as parents we ought to be, be mindful of, of our children teach them well so that they will grow well no parents want a bad child but it is not easy to bring up a good child you have to sacrifice and God give us the grace in Jesus name amen give them assignment on the word of God ensure they practice in it, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, ensure they participate in daily devotional. They participate as we are doing daily devotional these days. The topic that consigns them, pick a scripture, you on your altar, let them see you. It's not just you coming to watch Pastor Parika or you coming to watch me. Open your Bible, let them see that you read the Bible so that they will know it is a thing you should do all the time. Let them see you praying every morning, every night, every noon, all the time. Let them know that it's not, it's not only when I wake up I have to pray or when I need I have to I have to also worship God. I have to also thank God. It is a thing I should do. It is my responsibility. Make them to have quiet time. Hallelujah. May the Lord give us wisdom. Win them from this tender age. Win them now. When you win them, they will be winning others when they already grow. Amen. Amen. Proverbs 9 verse 9 to 10 says, Give instruction to a wise man and he will yet be wiser yet he will be wiser teach a just man and he will increase in learning and the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding amen may god cause us to understand the knowledge of his will may he give us wisdom of all oh may he increase our wisdom man and our understanding both spiritually and physically may the lord help us to be alert as parents especially in this evil and wicked days. May God give us wisdom and the spirit of discernment to know all things, to understand all things, and to have wisdom to put all things in place. In Jesus' name. Oh, I pray thee. Oh, God, let's just begin to pray. Anyone that still have issues, character issues, where do the children learn this from? Your child has not gone to school. It is only you and your child at home, but your child is start lying. Your child starts stealing. Your child starts doing bad behavior. Where did they see from? Maybe that is what you do. 
Maybe that is what you do. So any bad characters that is still in you that your child will see and begin to copy, begin to repent before the presence of God today. Say, Lord, I repent from this. Oh God, I repent from this. Oh God, have mercy on me. Oh, wash me, break me, remake me, oh God. Make me fit for you. Let the fruit of the Spirit be made manifest in us, oh God. Let the fruit of the Spirit be made manifest in us, oh God. That even as we go ahead to train our children, our children will be sent. Our children will be rich children of God. People will see our, our children and call us blessed. In the name of Jesus, amen. Begin to pray the blessings of God upon your children. Say, Lord, I will not give I will not give birth for trouble. Oh, Lord, as I make effort on these children, my effort will not be a wasted effort. Oh, Lord, as I teach my children your word, oh, Lord, let your word be rooted and grounded in their spirit. In the name of Jesus, that when they grow, they will not depart from it. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray thee, oh God, I will not give birth for trouble. I will not give birth for trouble. My children will not put me in trouble. Our children will not put us in trouble. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray thee, oh God, even as we teach our children your word, let it not be a waste of time. Father, let your word be established in their heart. Let your word be rooted and grounded in their heart. In the name of Jesus, that they will not depart from your word. In the name of Jesus, that they will meditate on your word both day and night. Keep them, oh God, in your grace, in your hands. Protect them, shield them. In the name of Jesus, amen. And help us, oh God, not to slack in our paths. Oh, maybe you are walking day and night. Who is taking care of your children? It has help. Nobody is teaching your children. Ah, you just always say, mommy, mommy, mommy. Oh, what did you buy for me? You hug. Mommy, good night. Mommy, you, you wake up and then you're up. You don't know anything about your child. Say, Lord, help me, Lord, in every way I've been negligent. Father, have mercy and forgive me. Help me, oh God, to stand well to train my child. Oh, Lord, do not let the Satan to spoil my child. Do not allow me to give my child to this world to spoil my child. Begin to pray for yourself. Help me, Lord, everywhere I've been negligent. Help me, Lord Jesus, to recover, to train my children well in the way they should grow. That when they grow up, they will not depart from it. Oh, when they grow up, they will not become a spread children. Oh Lord, I pray thee, give us grace, oh God, to train our children in the way that pleases you, Father. In the name of Jesus, amen. I want to hold my faith with you. Maybe you have a child already that is already sleeping off your finger. Say, Lord, ah, this child will not sleep off my finger. Oh Lord, restore this child. I intercede with you. Say, Lord, restore my child. Oh Lord, I pray, restore this woman's child. Restore this my child. That child that is going wayward. That child that is going wayward. That child that is going very stubborn. Oh Lord, restore that child. Back to their parents. Back to you, oh God. In the name of Jesus. They have done everything. Pastor has talked. They have heard message, but they are still the same. Jesus, break that host of Satan. Break that host of Satan. Break that yoke, oh God. Destroy those power of darkness that has covered those children. Remove them, oh God, from the hands of Satan. Holy Spirit, come upon them, oh Lord. Sanctify them. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, we snatch that child out of the hands of Satan. In the name of Jesus, amen. That that spirit of stubbornness be gone, be removed. The Lord rebuke you out of that child by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, amen. It is well with your household. It is well with your children. You will not give birth for trouble. Your children will not put you into trouble. As you are doing your best and training them in the way of the Lord, they shall grow. The enemy will not pluck off your children. They are children will grow in the knowledge and in the will of God. In the name of Jesus, when they are old, they will not depart from it. In the name of Jesus, the fruit of righteousness that you have been sowing in your children, right now you begin to see the fruit. 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 By the blood of Jesus, begin to see the fruit. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will not mourn over our children this year. Our children is covered with the blood of Jesus and the fire of God, the peace of God upon them, the joy of God upon them. They shall be an Apostle Paul. They shall be an Esther in their generation. They shall do greater things than the old, than the old saints. In the name of Jesus, they will stand in the holiness and the righteousness of God when the Lord come. We and our children and our husbands and our household, we will make heaven to the glory of God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Our thought for the day is discipline the children with love and in righteousness, not in anger. 
you have an anger issue, take yourself to God and pray. And I know God will take it away when you are sincere in your prayers. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord give us grace to discipline our children with wisdom, in love, in the love of God, not in anger. In Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I thank you for today. I bless this day in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. This week is blessed. No weapon from against us shall prosper. Every tongue that is not against us is consumed and condemned. It is well with our household. It is well with our husband. It is well with the women, the men. It is well with our children. Wherever we go, we are blessed. We receive strength and grace to do great tower works for Jesus, to live in the holiness and the righteousness of God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for hearing and answering my prayers. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We thank God for another day. Hallelujah. We have eaten today and we will walk in the light of our testimony in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a wonderful day in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.